Texas, 49. Oklahoma, zero. Zilch, nada. Not a thing. Oklahoma, what in the world? Uh, this I, I, I talked about this on Jay Hood's uh, podcast, the, uh, the Value Bets show. If Dylan Gabriel did not play, I said Oklahoma was going to be in a world of hurt. And they absolutely were. That offense could do nothing. Nothing. They had five different guys attempt passes in this game, did Oklahoma. Uh, Davis Bevel was 6 out of 12 passing for 38 yards. Eric Gray was 1 for 2. He's, of course, the running back. Uh, Michael Turk was 1 for 1. Nick Evers was 0 for 1. Marcus Major was 1 for 1. We did not get a general booty pass, uh, so that is what it is. Uh, Holy Sal jumped in. Uh, Oklahoma might be the worst team in the Big 12. Yeah, without Dylan Gabriel, absolutely. Absolutely. And that defense, man, and so I know that they're missing the safety. Um, and maybe a couple other guys as well, but man, like they are... Uh, th- this was this was a beatdown of epic proportions. Quinn Ewers, 21 out of 31, 289 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Uh, Bijan Robinson, 22 carries and 130 yards, two touchdowns. This was, I mean, it, Texas had almost 300 yards passing, almost 300 yards rushing. They had seven touchdowns on the day. I mean, it, it was garbage time by halftime uh, as far as advanced stats are concerned. This was a complete annihilation. Uh, average yards per play, 7.2 to 3.3. Uh, looking over the actual full stats, uh, th- this game was not as close as the score indicated uh, from Jeff Fogel, uh, who, who does a bunch of stuff for VSIN. Uh, but Texas won yardage 585 to 195. Yards per play, 7.2 to 2.4. Third downs, 67 to 20%. Rushing 296 to 156 and drive points 35 to nothing. Of course, a drive is any drive that gets inside the opponent's 40 yard line or, or that goes uh, 60 plus yards. Um, the OU defense has looked just brutal for the last three weeks. It, it's like they beat Nebraska. And of course, this is part of that Nebraska curse that everybody's talking about now. Uh, but they are just. I, I can't figure out what is happening. It's like they forgot how to play defense. And we saw some signs of this early against, you know, weak non-conference, uh, non-conference competition. Uh, Stone Thomas takes, jumps in. Texas could be 6-0 and ranked number one in the country if viewers didn't get hurt. I guess our decade of roasting Texas fans might be over now. It may, maybe right now, I guess. Uh, and they've got Arch Manning coming in. I, Steve Sarkeesian is a good coach. This is something that we figured out. Uh, and I told you guys last week about the explosive plays, right? If you thought that TCU could draw up explosive plays, like you know Texas is going to be able to find open guys, and they didn't even have to do that. Like They were only 4% explosive play rate in this game because they were so successful everywhere else. They had a 51% success rate. That's 86th like percentile in the country. That's massive. Like They were, they were unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, Holy South said, yeah, with Texas having viewers, they might win the Big 12. They absolutely can win the Big 12. Like, you, are, Does TCU really scare you if you're Texas? Especially with the way that, that Longhorns defense has been playing? I mean, not me. Uh, at, once you get past Oklahoma, like there's obviously there's teams that can beat Texas. We get that. Oklahoma State, Baylor, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You, you just go down the list. Kansas, even. Uh, but this Longhorns team is set up to be pretty good going forward. I I think there are more... When you look at the grand simulations, out of a 1,000 simulations, I think Texas probably wins the Big 12 in 75% of them, just to guess, because this team is talented, like they are loaded. They've got the quarterback now. The defense is looking good. I I like Texas a lot right now. I mean, this team is well-coached. They are playing well. They are playing confidently, which is something the Texas teams have not done in a long time. If you're looking at your screen, you see the EPA uh, for the game. OU, negative 27.3. Once they got to play number 77, Texas, once they got to play number 91, they were plus 24.86. That is, I mean, it's a huge difference. It's a massive difference. So props to them on getting a massive, massive win. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.